Alright, you do. Um, today we have the new Apple iPod Touch. The, it's got the webcam in it. It's the, I think, fourth generation or something like that. It's a brand new one now. 8 gigabytes. So we're just doing a review on it. First, uh, it's already had thirty been used. So then we have the Apple iPod. And then inside there's like a start guide and stuff. Of course, I wouldn't have that so I had to take that to get out already and stuff. But inside there would be a start guide and then your earphones. Your USB cable. And then you got um, your star guide and your other stuff. And then come with stickers. I'll show you mine in the back. Um, mine has a sticker in the back. Um, so you're going to take this little thing and just take it out. And then once you peel these things off right here, you can just pretty much pop it out. And then you just take it off like this. Here's the new app. And then my stickers in the back. I scraped some of it off so you can see the logo in the back. And then you just hold this button right here. At first, when it turns on, you'll see these um, this wallpaper and stuff, and then all these applications have already been used. Holds a lot of uh, songs. It's 8 gigabytes, so holds a lot of songs. It's like FaceTime and stuff on there. I'm not sure how long it's supposed to take to uh, turn on for these. So usually, when turned on, it doesn't take this long to turn on. Oh, there it goes. So then you just slide to unlock it. So, um, there is FaceTime and all that stuff on there. Usually, when you turn on the iPod, it would look like this. But mine doesn't, because uh, I have a lot of apps, and then there's a wallpaper in the back, but it's from an application, so. Here. So there's like a calendar, FaceTime, camera, YouTube, weather, utilities, app store, settings, and all that stuff. Um, so here's the camera. Um, you're going to see me right now. Okay, well, no, probably not. You're just seeing, you're just seeing the other part. Um, on. And then you can switch it. Just click the button, it's like right over here. It comes out towards you. Or whatever. Um, you can record on it. I don't know exactly how much you can. how much uh, you can record, but um, you can get Facebook and other stuff on it. Let's see. I have like a lot of songs on here, I'm not sure how much it holds. But for now, I have like 195 songs and stuff. So, like, I have, I, 
four, no, like 979 megabytes left out of all those stuff. And then uh, if you go to Wi Fi, it looks for all your Wi Fi and stuff. Of course, I'm already connected to it. And then let's see. Uh, you can get Skype for it, but you can't, like, video call on Skype. Um, there's just all these stuff right here. And, let's see, and then there's a calendar. Yeah, so there's not really much uh, about it. But, I mean, it's, at first when you open it, I mean, it's, it seemed pretty cool at first. Um, and when you'll start, like, you can download a lot of applications. But at first it'll seem all cool, but then later you're like, it's just like a regular iPod to you. I mean, yeah. And then you can get on YouTube. And then you see, like, you can uh, do, like, you can watch previews of a movie, which I like, did a, pre a preview. So you can watch. I'll show you a video on here that you can actually watch it. It's not a lot, even a lot you can actually watch it. Watch. Let's see. And it's from YouTube. So you can actually watch YouTube videos on here. Um. So basically you can do anything, it's like if you had a laptop, it's the same thing as having this iPod. Um, so yeah, there's not really much about it. Um, you can listen to the radio on here. You download the iHeart radio application. So like, you can just listen to music and uh, just find like, just uh, like, there's like a bunch of stations on there. I mean, there's so many much, like, you can listen to anything. And then, let's see. Uh, you can get this application, the iWeb camera, for your iPod, and like you're using Skype or YouTube, or if you're video chatting with somebody, you can use it. And it, it's pretty cool. It looks like uh, this. It, it, I'll show it to you, it's like a little blue icon. I don't know if you can see that. It's right next to the battery meter. And then... Um, there's a battery meter, and it just tells you how much uh, battery power if you turn it on. It probably will be fully charged, I'm not sure. But this is what the regular um, battery meter looks like, or whatever it says. I just have it set to cl classic, but here's the modern version of it. Here's the modern version. I basically didn't really like this version. That's why I changed it to the classic version. So this is what the classic version looks like. It looks a lot better. Right now it's like 60% full. Um, let's see. And there's like just texting applications and that stuff. And then if your um, iPod, your application need updates. So uh, I'll tell you right here.
Yeah, so that's pretty much it. Um, thanks for watching the video of uh, our review on the iPod Touch. I think it's fourth generation with uh, new fourth generation. I think it's fourth. I'm not sure. But anyways, uh, thanks for watching my video and um, please rate my video and uh, subscribe and other stuff. So this is just a review on iPod Touch fourth generation and. Peace out.